Welcome everyone. In this video, we will take a look at the user control panel. To access the user control panel, we click on the small icon in the top right corner, then select user panel. We end up in the tab general. Here, you can choose between different languages. To change the language, select it and reload the page. Several other general settings can be changed here, such as display settings, keyboard shortcuts, or PDF settings. Under miscellaneous, you can, among other things, set the default permissions for experiments. As you know, you can later adjust the permissions individually for each experiment. Let's continue to account. Here, you can make account settings, including activating two-factor authentication or add your ORCID number. Next up is templates, but we'll skip that since we covered it in the last video. So let's move on to API keys. Here, you can generate an API key for this team. You can choose either read-only or read and write permissions. Everything that can be done in the eLab FTW user interface can also be done via the API. As mentioned in the video about resources, it is common for researchers to use the API to create resources in eLab FTW. At the end, we have notifications. It's best to look at the settings and see what makes sense for you. Great. In the next video, we'll check out the admin panel. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or leave a comment. Goodbye.